What is good everyone, it's ZigZag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and I have a super exciting one for you today. The streak I got yesterday of over 150 countries in a row could really be considered the magnum opus of this channel. I mean my very first ever video on the whole channel was the road to 20 countries in a row, then I upped it to 50 and achieved that, then I upped it to 100 and I have gone and blown it out of the water with this streak I got yesterday. So for context here we have the solo diverse world records and you can see that number 3 sits at 100 so obviously this 150 plus streak that I got yesterday lands me really close to this and be sure to watch till the streak ends because something really interesting happens when it does. But that's just for context, like this is a seriously good streak, this is a better streak than the vast majority of community members have ever gotten and I'm super proud of it. I mean guys, I woke up yesterday, my best ever streak was 65. I got the 83 from yesterday's video and then I got this within like two resets. Also I forgot to mention that at the 85 country mark I start live commentary so once you get to that point then you have my live thoughts and reactions actions, which is probably a little bit more fun anyway. So I'm gonna leave this video without any music, put your own music on and relax. I'll just explain exactly how things went down here. Okay, so first round of the day brought us to USA or Canada. Ironically enough, it was a relatively easy US, but it was one of those rounds that actually was not too far from the border, was actually a failable round. Next one, we had those yellow number plates on all the cars. It's easily going to mean that we're going to be somewhere inside Israel, and of course I was 9.5 kilometers away. And the next one, I go really quickly because it just looks like a Kenyan landscape, as long with that new Google car. Next one, we're driving left with yellow rear plates, so that's another easy United Kingdom. And uh, here we move on to an easy Brazil with these poles. I take a look around and we see a follow car, which is actually a Nigerian follow car. So I had the exact same thought looking at it the second time. But yeah, that, that was a Nigerian pole. And with a follow car, you basically have to be there. So a lot of that new um, Nigerian coverage is actually kind of difficult to get. And so it's worth uh, taking a bit of extra time. Okay, next one here we have Lithuanian pole tops um, on these concrete poles. The po concrete poles in Lithuania are always square, um, like all the other Baltic countries as well. Uh, next one here we have a winter coverage USA Canada toss up, definitely looking more American, so I just go straight for Kansas there. Ends up being in Iowa, so yeah, not too far from the northern border, but still pretty easy. Next one here looks like Australia or South Africa. Um, taking a look at the buildings over in the distance, it really has to be South Africa, and I see a Western Cape pole, so I'm able to get pretty close. And then that's just another unique uh, car that's only found in Kenya. And the next one here is looking very, very much like the UAE. And I turn around and I see the white Google car without an antenna. So that pretty, pretty much has to be in the UAE once you have that landscape and those like black and white curbs and everything. Okay, next one here. We are moving on to some Northern Europe here. And uh, with that pole top, it should be France. It's interesting because it kind of looked quite cold. We had like a birch tree. Uh, yeah, a couple of birch trees over there. And so I was not quite sure, but the pole top I trusted to be French. So I clicked right on the French-Belgian border just in, just in case because I thought it would probably be quite northern. It ends up being just in the hills near Geneva there. So, um, but a France one nonetheless. Next one here looking like somewhere in Russia or something like that. We had a short antenna, which is not particularly common in Russia, but um, all the landscape and buildings were Russian enough to pretty much make it an easy one. Next one here, we had generation two camera in Africa. So that pretty much has to be somewhere in South Africa. And here we are looking at an Ireland. Oh no, we're not. We're actually looking at a UK uh, yellow rear plates there. Um, I thought with that black and white striped pole that would be in Ireland, but I think both countries use them. Next one here, we've got these blue number plates. So that's a fairly easy Senegal. I mean, Senegal is basically the only country on GeoGuessr that uses all blue number plates. So yeah, pretty easy country to get based on that. Although you can occasionally see some wacky ones in Tunisia that are all blue as well. Anyway, next one here, we have no antenna, which is interesting. Feels quite up in the mountains. So I think with no antenna that Italy fits the best. It's right on the border with Austria there, but Italy is one of those countries where you can see no antenna. Then we have some generation four winter coverage. So that should be somewhere in Russia with that landscape. And then we have some Ecuadorian bollards. So we um, move forward to 18 streak. So still a long way in the video to go, of course. Next one was near no Novosibirsk. So that was a pretty easy round. Next one, we have a long antenna, round concrete poles. Taking a look at the plates there, I think they may have been blue on both sides. I checked the sky for rifts and we do have them. But actually no, it wasn't blue on both sides. It was blue on a single side because it was actually Montenegro. .me is the um, domain for Montenegro. And you know, Montenegrin, Albanian, um, um, toss-ups can be quite difficult, so finding a domain is actually quite useful. Here we have some um, concrete poles that are square and they have like dots inside them going all the way to the bottom. That's how I knew it would be in Thailand. And now we have the Gagastan Google car, which makes life nice and easy. A lot of the rounds are helped out massively by Google car. Uh, speaking of which, we have the generation two camera here, which is uh, only in South Africa, can't be in Botswana. 
Next one here, we have this pavement, which I was talking about in yesterday's streak, which is very, very Dutch. And the next one here, we have what looks to be a bit of a South Africa or Botswana toss up. I'm thinking with this extremely sandy soil, it's much more likely to be somewhere in South Africa, I mean in Botswana. And uh, we also had a ridge in the back, which is quite Botswana as well, I would say. And it ends up being all the way to the north there on the, uh, what is that, the Namibian border? Yeah, in the M Namibian panhandle border there. So quite a unique kind of area, uh, pretty cool coverage there. Next one here, I just refresh to stop the game from lagging, and I see that there is a, uh, a sign there, so I decided to look at the landscape before checking out the sign, and I'm actually reading it, assuming that this is going to be in Peru, because I see the word Inca there on the right-hand side. Little did I realize that on the left-hand side, we just have a Bolivian flag here, so this one's never going to be difficult. Finally, I see it, and I go in for Bolivia. It would have been tragic if I accidentally went Peru there or something like that. I mean, obviously it would have been. Uh, next one here, we have like some grassy mountains, should be somewhere in the south of Brazil with those and uh, the red soil as well, of course. And the next one, we have some double yellow lines in the center, right-hand drive. Um, and with double yellow lines, right-hand drive and an Asian vibe with Asian characters as well, that's always going to be somewhere in Taiwan. Um, uh, unless, unless you had like a maybe a strange uh, Korea, but Korean language is quite distinctive. Um, and next time we are over in the UAE, a pretty easy round again, similar to the last UAE round we had with the white car. This one was interesting, we had like a silver Google car, I wasn't really sure what that was about, it didn't really look like a black one to me. Um, but with this landscape, I really was thinking of somewhere near Lake Titicaca, um, just that kind of landscape that you get around there. And then of course we had a black and white striped pole, which is the biggest clue, and it ends up being actually quite a bit further north near Lima. Uh, but we moved to a 30 country streak, and already, considering that my previous best was 65, 30 is not feeling too bad. Um, but, uh, but we've got a long way to go indeed. So the next one here we have Austrian bollards. I actually remembered this one as a repeat from maybe a year ago, um, but I remembered that it was Austria, so um, that made life nice and easy. And this one was somewhere in Malaysia. Okay, next one here, we have these blacktop bollards, which you often see in Austria and Slovenia. So I was trying to work out which one it would be. With these chevrons here, for example, the black on white and the white on black, I was thinking of Slovenia because they're kind of like the secondary ones that you often see in Slovenia. And um, just taking another look around here, I was pretty sure that that was going to be the case. Finally, I found some like Slavic looking language on the bin there and I was a little bit worried when I saw that. We were actually all the way out in the far reaches. Uh, anyway, next one we were driving right on a concrete road, kind of concrete sectioned off slabs road. So that one always basically has to be somewhere in Philippines. Um, if you're driving left, then it would be in Thailand. But yeah, with that kind of road should be Philippines. And I get pretty close as well. Next one we have a you know, just a standard concrete New Zealand pole for the North Island. 23,000 points there in that seed, so a pretty nice result, I would say. Next one here, we appear to be somewhere in Australia or New Zealand. I'm taking a look around extra carefully because this round is actually kind of difficult, but I really get a strong New Zealand vibe off it. I mean, I've played enough Australia to get that vibe, and then also that bin said Auckland City Council, so makes life nice and easy indeed. Okay, next one here, we are driving with double yellow lines on the right-hand side of the road. Um, we have a Colombian cross there, so I, uh, I and when I saw PR, I was like, is this Puerto Rico? No, no, no chance. But yeah, with this cross, it's always going to be somewhere in Colombia. It's a very, very consistent matter, unless perchance the back of the sign is painted black, in which case it might be somewhere in Brazil. Um, okay, so yeah, that one's an easy Colombia. We can send it in. We move to 37, and the next round is kind of interesting here. We have a Ari cam. So my personal rule, I'm actually not sure what the official rules are, but my personal rule that I was going to stick by was if there is a generation one round or an Ari cam like this, which is not actually official coverage, then both times I have to try. And if I fail, I fail. So that's the personal rule I set myself. Uh, there was no flunking out either way. I, so I had to get this correct. Fortunately, there was plenty of uh, clues here. We we're lacking front plates and we had to be French. So it basically had to be Quebec. And I remember that there was some cam like that up in the north. So I was correct. Next one here, just an easy Botswana, something I recognized, ends up being all the way on the other side of the country. Um, and the next one is South Africa with the outside lines and the generation for the yellow outside lines generation four should be somewhere in south africa but okay here's another interesting one i mean generally speaking when you lose country streaks that are long it, it it's quite often that it comes down to some urban eastern europe where where the round is quite unclear because there's no language clues or bollards or anything like that um and this one was no it was it was not an easy round we i i looked at that plate behind us and i kind of thought that it might be a short plate like an italian one but i didn't see the blue stripes on either side which which was concerning me however 
the uh, the architecture was Italian looking enough to just go for it and fortunately I was correct. Next one I go for Tokyo and it wasn't Tokyo. Uh, next one here is another one of these difficult ones. This is actually this is actually quite a definitive round I would say. It's it's the start of of the difficult ones. So um, well there's going to be a whole series of difficult ones that I have to overcome and this is one of them. So here we go. We have um, Promeli do el paso. Um, it it appeared to me to either be Spanish or Italian. That was the two countries that I really considered with this landscape and that language. So that's really what I was working with here. And the architecture I thought felt more Spanish, although it still could have easily been Italian. But I just thought that that sentence felt a bit more Spanish to me. I don't speak any Spanish or Italian, sadly. Um, I'm sure actually learning a little bit of Spanish, some cursory stuff would be super useful. But in the end, I do opt, opt for Spain here just because of the architecture plus language. Um, the landscape, yeah, it could have gone either way. It definitely felt a bit more Spanish, maybe with this kind of reddish dirt and uh, kind of very dry landscape. But, you know, there are places in Italy that I do think could also look like this. So we send in the north and it ends up being, or we send in the south ends up being in the north. A good result. Next one here, I'm super sure it's Canada, generation two plus blue street signs plus dirt road coverage is very, very Canadian. And the next one here, we have the French pole top that I talked about in my polls video. Um, it's kind of like a lap pull down bar or something like that. And that one is going to be in French countries or Spanish or, or Spain. Um, and uh, Senegal being one of those countries that was colonized by Spain, uh, by France, is one of those countries that um, does have those French pole tops. And I get the complete wrong side of the country, but hey, um, it moves to 45 countries in a row. So already feeling pretty good. So here's the next one, some winter coverage. And I see on this mailbox that it says K-State. And as much as that might may have been hasty to go as quickly as I did. I thought if we're talking about states and not provinces, where is this going to be in Canada? K State just just only made sense for like Kansas or something like that. So just went straight in for it. It was correct. I'm I'm, I'm I, I could have probably taken a bit more time there, but you know it was still early days, so that was fine. Our next one here we had New Zealand poles, which I was kind of confused by. The 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 landscape was a bit strange, and it ends up being all the way south. So I definitely misjudged that one, but it was the right country, of course. Next one here. We are somewhere in Russia with the white card. It's often in Asian Russia and ends, ends up being Pat Petra Pavlovsk there. Uh, next one, we have some French looking architecture. We have shutters on the windows and a yellow plate. Now, I was a little bit worried that this could be like Belgium or Luxembourg or something like that. But in the end, I opt for France and it's correct. Uh, the next one here, we have, I was a little bit worried for a second, but it ends up get, being Laos, I'm pretty sure. I mean, this car is the Laos Google car. And then also we find some language, which is all we need to seal the deal here. Uh, something around, about it reminded me of Paxa, even though I'm not really sure when it comes to Laos, but we got the right city this time. So, I mean, Laos is one of those countries that only has about five cities covered. So you're often getting the right city. Exactly. Um, you, never have, you can never click in the countryside because there's just no chance of it being there. Okay, next one uh, is actually obscured by my webcam there, but we saw some language which basically had to be one of the indigenous um, British languages. I mean, maybe that's, the, maybe that's the wrong one. One of the Celtic languages is what I want to say. Um, I did not think it was going to be uh, Irish, which was the main scare. And so I thought with a language like this, uh, pan for golaun fa flacio, um, that should be something in, uh, Welsh is what I thought. Um, but I thought it could be Scots as well. Wasn't entirely sure. Welsh made most sense. Go there and it's correct. Obviously if it was Scotland, we still re retain the country streak. Okay. Next one, um, we have, um, yellow rear plates driving left. As I've said, um, when it, with a landscape like that, um, that is going to be somewhere in Britain. Next one, we have a long antenna and we have... If you take a look here, we actually have a chevron, which is yellow and blue. And that's literally the only country you can find it in is Sweden. Um, it's the Swedish colors, so it makes a lot of sense. It's very intuitive as a clue. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's literally the only country that you can find that in. So very useful indeed. Okay, next one here, we have double yellows on the outside of the road. So it should be Ireland or England. I got England there because we were using a lot of red brick and you just wouldn't see that much red brick in Ireland anywhere and I also felt like it kind of felt like London and it was so that was nice next one we have an uh, a unique Danish sign this one under under my webcam here um when you see that red sign along the ground that is going to be somewhere in Denmark and you can get an easy guess 22 kilometers away for 23,800 that was all in the UK and uh Scandinavia that round which is kind of interesting 
But okay, next one here, we have these yellow outside lines on generation four, red dirt. This is going to be somewhere in South Africa every time. Um, and I thought it might be that side of Johannesburg because of the planted trees. A lot of tree plantations from south of Eswatini to north of Eswatini on the South African side of the border. Um, so a good little thing to improve your scores. If you see lots of tree plantations, then you could be there. And here's another country that loves to do tree plantations, and that is Uruguay. Um, it could still be Argentina with this landscape, so I wanted to go and check out the poles and I find a Uruguayan um, trident pole, which is obviously what we're using there to get the country. Um, also, dirt road coverage, super common over there. But okay, next round is a bit of a tough one. We are either in the USA or Canada with this architecture and landscape, and we have a lack of a front plate here. So that would normally suggest either somewhere in Canada or somewhere in the south of the US, and then there are some other oddball states. But look at this, we've got a painted white wooden signpost here, and painted white wooden signposts are particularly common in Canada as opposed to the USA. I would say they're quite rare in the US and quite common in Canada. So that was the main thing I was working with here because actually, you know, vegetation-wise, I really could have seen USA here. It really it really does seem that way. Um, but obviously, being as how I'm uh, sitting here in front of you talking about a long country streak, we get this one correct, and it is somewhere in Canada. I just wanted to make sure, because I wasn't really sure what province to put it in, especially with the lack of front plates and uh, with a lack of language. I wasn't quite sure where exactly to put it. Um, now, I, I, it, ends up being, it ends up being in Saskatchewan, and I'm pretty sure Saskatchewan is a, is a province that uses these white signposts perhaps more than others. Um, so, so I think that's worth keeping in mind here. Okay, a long wait later, we go in, put our market in Quebec, and it ends up being somewhere in Saskatchewan, northern Saskatchewan even. So quite warm looking for so far north, but it was a fine round. And the next one here was a repeat, I think. I think I've had this round before. Um, I remembered it was somewhere in southern Canada. Couldn't remember if it was Quebec or Ontario. I had the feeling that it was in Quebec. Um, but obviously on that green sign, there are actually English sounding uh, place names. So yeah, like highway. I mean, I don't think it would probably say that in Quebec. So um, anyway, um, I also recognize these poles as probably either Quebec or Ontario, and it was just in Ontario. Very Southern, but fine. Okay, next one here, we had this kind of low camera for Japan. Japan's like your favorite country, I think, to see uh, in country streaks and because it's so hard to fail. And then I thought it was probably somewhere in that kind of a region with a whole lot of smaller islands just because we had like kind of a bay view. Okay, so next one here, we are on 60 country streak. We are approaching uh, my personal best at the time, which I said was 83 as of yesterday, a few games before this. So here we had some Filipino looking carriages. Um, actually, you can use the, let me actually show you something here. So you can actually use the height of the roofs of these motorbikes, believe it or not, to actually determine the region of Philippines, because there are certain areas where they use just one big roof, there's certain areas where they use an umbrella, there's certain areas where they have one roof much slower than another, and one, one roof much higher than another, um, but when you see the ones that are fairly even height, then it should be somewhere near the cent center of, um, of the country, and it actually said Cebu there, so we can send on Cebu Island, ends up being all the way north in Cebu Island, but fine result. Next one here, we had low camera again, and so when you see that, you can basically instantly send in either Japan or Switzerland. This is definitely not Asia with those bollards and with this landscape, so Switzerland was an easy one right there in the heart of the Alps, and so a nice little result. Next one here, we have a single yellow line, and we have Korean language, so we can go straight for South Korea. Never going to be North Korea on GeoGuessr, obviously no Google cars ever drove there. Okay, next one here, we have black tops to the bollards here, and I was pretty sure it should just be Austria. I think I may have seen some language. Yeah, I'm pretty sure behind the webcam there, I saw some German language, and that's why I was able to go so quickly. Uh, next one here looked a lot like somewhere in South Africa, and then we had kind of had um, some language which looked a bit Dutch, so that would be Afrikaans, and we moved forward to a 65 country streak, going quite nicely indeed. Okay, um... Here we are driving left-hand side of the road. We have black number plates and they're in three sections, three sections of text in the blur. And so that means it should be somewhere in Indonesia. My Indonesia guesses were all kinds of bad inside these last two streaks that I got, but hey, uh, we got the right country and that's what matters. Next time we have the black car with the long antenna. I take a look around to make sure it's not Donetsk, which is uh, another place where you might see some black car long antenna in Ukraine, but no, most times it's in Russia and that, that round was no exception. Okay, next round we move on to one of the first serious 50-50s here. Um, we do have a Czechoslovak 50-50, and this one 
was seriously difficult. So strap in and uh, let's work through my process on this first real toss up. So taking a look, we have a wooden pole here. We have Smilov, um, which I didn't think was findable. We had a small sign, a small white sign here with a thin text. Now, one of the differences between Slovakia and Czechia is that often on Czech signs, the writing is less bolded. Um, but on a small sign like this, I wasn't really sure if I could trust that that was Czech um, font or not. We also had a uh, like a um, railroad crossing sign, and I do believe that railroad crossing signs are different between the two countries. Unfortunately, I could not recall what that difference was. So now you can see I'm looking at the houses. I'm trying to establish whether there's a house sign on them, because often in Slovakia, the house signs are white, and in Czechia, they're either red or blue. So that's what I was looking for. Unfortunately, as I said, this is a real toss up. There were none of those to be uh, had here, which is really annoying. So then I was just looking, looking at these signs, making sure there was nothing actually that would help me distinguish it for 100% sure. And then I got to looking at this pole here because in Slovakia, it's often that you get a yellow painted pole uh, with some kind of number on it or something like that. And the yellow painted kind of circle on the pole is about that size and shape. However, I did not think this was paint. I thought this was something stuck onto or next to the pole. So for that reason, I was very skeptical because there's, one, there's kind of one of those things in infrastructure where you're like, is that actually meant to be one of those Slovakian things that stuck on? Or is this just something I've never seen before and it's just kind of random? So that's kind of the struggle I had to deal with here. Is this actually one of the Slovakian ones, which would make it an easy Slovakian send? Or is that just something else or something related, but not the same? Um, and yeah, the antenna also kind of looked interesting here, but I couldn't actually remember if that's a, a meta or not. And so then I was just left with my thoughts and feelings. That is basically the entire thing. I mean, it was quite flat, but you do get flat regions in Slovakia as well. So it really was not easy to say. So I just keep looking here, keep looking, and I eventually come to my decision. Think about in your head what you think it is from even from my description, maybe you can start to work it out. But uh, yeah, I just kept looking. In the end here, I decide to go for Czechia. Do you guys think it was right? Well, yeah, it, it was right. And um, yeah, I really do think having visited Slovakia, I mean, I actually traveled extensively in Slovakia. I only visited Prague and Czechia, but I do think visiting both countries has really helped uh, my distinguishing in the both of them. And uh, that was basically just on vibes, just on landscape there, plus that thinner font that I was talking, talking to you about. So yeah. Okay, that last one was Japan. This one is all white road lines. Uh, a lot of brick buildings. You know, I lost yesterday's streak in Bolivia. I was pretty sure this one was actually Bolivia this time though. And when I saw a car number plate with a bit of a blue tinge to it, definitely I could see that this was probably written in blue letters. And that made me supremely confident that we'd be somewhere in Bolivia here. So I was very happy to send it near Cochabamba and it ends up being near La Paz instead. Okay, so we moved to 70 country streaks. So we're only 13 away from my PB. Uh, but um, obviously the, you guys know this goes a bit further than that. So um, here we had another round, which was potentially difficult. It said Ulitsa there, which is kind of the Eastern European way of saying uh, street, but that ruled out Hungary and not too many other countries, to be honest. I thought it was just Croatia. I just thought it was Croatia. I wasn't entirely sure uh, how to decide, um, but with this yellow Yugoslav sign, and then I saw the bollards as well, and then I was pretty confident ends up being on that peninsula there, forget what it's called, um, and uh, we move forward. So the bollard really helped out. I mean, that particular bollard that you see in Croatia is pretty much only found there. Next one was an easy Malaysia. I send over the other side of the <laughs> peninsula, but it's fine. Next one here, we have another US-Canada. Basically, when you're, when you're this far into a streak, you're just praying for as few US-Canadas as possible because they can be super easy, but when they're hard, they're hard. And it's easy to make stupid mistakes, I feel. Uh, anyway, so here we had some English railroad, railroad crossing and it said speed limit, which was just fantastic. I'm so glad it said that. When it says speed limit, you know it should be somewhere in the US over Canada. And there was also a Trump-Pence um, kind of a political poster. And believe it or not, those political posters are actually quite useful, especially in America where they're, where they're quite, um, you know, qu displaying those things quite often. I actually got that it was Texas there, which is kind of surprising because I, at, at the start, I had really considered Canada as more likely, or at least a good possibility. But I figured it out based on the kind of landscape and the road as well. Next one was an easy time one with the language. Uh, only Chinese speaking country that actually has coverage apart from Hong Kong, I guess. Uh, next one here, we are somewhere in Russia with this generation four and the sign with the black bottom. 
Um, I actually managed to find this town. Um, I don't know why I took the time to actually find it, but I quickly, I quickly managed to find it here. I knew it should be somewhere in the south of Russia, obviously, uh, with that winter coverage. And I give it a quick scan, and there we go. It's Atarsk, and uh, we get a super nice score of 3.5 kilometers away, 4,991. Russia's huge, and we uh, we conquered it on that occasion with that small town name sign. Okay, next one here we have Mexican ballads, which are short and have that black base at the bottom. Let me show you once again here. Uh, so yeah, short white ones. Black at the bottom, uh, that's going to be Mexican. Quite useful. You don't see them all the time, but when you do, you should just be able to send Mexico. I don't really think there are similar ones elsewhere, but nothing quite the same. And uh, when it looks this kind of like, kind of wet, uh, going near city of Mexico is a good idea. Uh, next one here, uh, we do indeed have some Korean, and I was wondering, I think about Jeju Island here, just because it was so green, but <laughs> no, I didn't even go there, it was just something northern, just summer coverage can look quite warm. Next one here, we had a single yellow line, um, yeah, so a single yellow line, just infinitely more common in Canada than the US, you do see it in the US, you do see double ones in Canada, but that's basically the way it works, and I go somewhere in Alberta here, ends up being just over the border in Saskatchewan, so not a bad effort. Next one here, we have blue license plates, blue Google car, and a bit of blue ocean to the south there, everything blue. Um, and so I thought those blue number plates, that's probably somewhere in Baja, California, where they where they do have the new number plates as blue. And I finally find some coast that fits, and it ends up being right near Tijuana there. So on a really good score so far on this seed. Next one is an easy Denmark as well. So we move forward to 80, that was a 22,700 with a Russia and a Canada, not too bad. And at least maybe that might not have been the same seed as the Russia, actually. But anyway, next one here, I refresh the page, and we are looking at a Korea. So Korea is interesting because you get like kind of a mix of yellow number plates like that one, white number plates, and green number plates. And so we see a green number plate here on this car as well. And so with that three combination, it basically has to be um, somewhere in South Korea. I guess you could see, maybe, maybe there are other countries where you can see that those three all in one country, but it's unlikely. And uh, definitely had a Korean vibe. Next one here, we actually do have a semi-difficult round, I would say. Um, actually, yes, this is a very difficult round. We're on 81, and I was like, wow, we're really going to lose it to a Baltic round right on 81. So let's take a look at what we had to work with here. Okay, so quite honestly, I do not remember what country this is, and I'm just trying to work it out as we, as we take a look at this round again. Now, through those trees over to the right of the screen, I almost wondered, there was, there's like a clearing of some kind. And so I did kind of wonder, could that be the ocean or something like that? I did really think it, it felt kind of like we might be on an island and, and, and the only explanation there would be somewhere in Estonia. I was also looking and zooming into the trees and stuff like that. Sometimes in Estonia, there's a strange like green hue to the coverage, and so that was kind of making me think, is this, is this, yeah, I was looking at that clearing there, and also was looking at the trees, is there kind of a green hue to the coverage here, which, which is called the green blur, which would be in Estonia, that's kind of what I was wondering here, um, and so I was really trying to concentrate here, I was, I was just putting everything into, into the concentration, we had a whole bunch of birch trees here as well, can be found in all three countries, I think they're probably more common in Estonia, the black, the bollards over there, they were way too far away to be useful, but they did have a black strip, um, so all three countries that were in contention here have black strips, so yeah, unfortunately, um, not really useful on that occasion, but yeah, I'm just going, taking everything in here, now, I really think I started off with the strong assumption that it was Estonia, but I think as I looked further and further, I became less sure. I definitely became less sure. Also, the road was kind of a bit wider than what you often see in Estonia, and the trees were not quite as thick. Um, and so I really, I really did consider that in Estonia, the, the forest would probably be a little bit more dense because either that was like a clearing, um, or like leading to water, or maybe it was just a clearing that's kind of more natural or, or more typical of the country. Um, and so that's kind of where I was at here. I was kind of really considering between Estonia and Lithuania, which is, I guess, not often the kind of 50, 50 you're in, but okay here, I eventually come to my decision. I think because of the less amount of trees, the wider road, I go for Lithuania. It ends up being all the way on the Belarusian border. I did a really big fist pump in the webcam there. And it is almost time for me to take over the uh, commentary live. So, um, but basically, um, yeah, when I when I surpassed my record, I was like, this is probably going to turn into a YouTube video of some kind. This could be the first time I get 100. Um, and so I may as well do it. Here we had some signs for two towns, one of which was Whitehorse and the other one I managed to find on the map. 
So that was going to be an easy 5k there. And 12 meters away is super nice indeed. Pretty fast as well. Next one here, we had the Ghana car. And uh, so this was for the for my personal best. Now we were on personal best pace. We were on 84, surpassing 83. And so now the real thing was getting 100 in a row. Sri Lanka car brought us to 85. I will let myself from yesterday take it over. And I hope you guys really enjoy. Let's go. Easy path to 100. Come on, baby. Green sign that fills Polish. This car probably fits better for Poland as well. I just don't recognize that arrow. Folded over sign. Oh yeah, yellow field and sign. Nice. Thank you for being there. Polish sign. Okay. And we have now a Indo, which I actually thought was, from this view, I actually thought was Bangladesh. It's quite flat. Probably just go Java. Nice. This is a nice, easy RG. Okay, now we literally just have to get a 10 streak. That's all it is. This one's an easy Chile. Okay, nice. 90 barrier broken. Um, Green back of the sign, but this is, uh, I believe, Ecuador. We don't have like the double arrows, which you often have there. But it's not a Colombian cross, and I believe that you sometimes get the green there. And it's not painted black and white, so it can't be Peru, right? So I should be pretty confident here to go. Sun is to the north. Doesn't really help in Ecuador, but okay. Nice. Actually, was not 100% sure, but I wasn't really going to think of anything else. Kind of difficult. That uh, looks like a Spanish crossing sign with a lot of strikes through it, does it not? Uh, I'd say it could still be Portugal. Flags, Catalan flag, Portuguese, like a Spanish flag and like Ecuadorian flag or something like that. Pretty much has to be saying this could even be down on the islands. Ooh, look at the sea with the hook. I think with that flag though, we should probably be in the north, right? I can't remember how it goes. No, it's Valencia, okay. Okay, let's get it. Come on. I'm not even nervous because I know I can do a easily get a hundred streak. It's just a matter of when. Okay, this is Belgium. Yeah, I mean, it's Belgium. It's Dutch plus non-yellow plates. Nice. Very close. This is a nice easy, easy Ireland with the yellows. Okay. Very good. This is now Japan, easily. Did you know that Taiwan does not have low camera? It just has a really wide blur sometimes. I did not know that. Okay, that's 95. That was a nice easy one as well. Nothing Baltic. <laughs> and this is probably possibly a toss up. This is Ireland. Pretty sure of it. It is like longer dashes, but something about it just, Oh, we got the pegs and the poles, bro. Don't be UK. This feels super Irish to me, bro. It doesn't feel UK. We didn't do we didn't do that work on the Lithuania just for this. This is not UK. I'm calling it, bro. It's not UK. No shot, no shot, no shot. Let's go. Holy crap. <sighs> Come on. Just an easy ride in. We deserve it now after that. This is France or Belgium? Flat signpost makes me think France, right? The plates don't appear to... That's a green plate, what the heck? Okay, this definitely looks like French architecture, not Belgian. I would say that. We have some really short dashes for some reason. Um, but we don't see any brick houses. I think you get similar poles in Belgium. Birch tree there, like it has to be northern France, which is a little annoying. That looks like a very French sign. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it does, baby. This is like Brittany with these houses. Kind of looks like Ireland. It's definitely French, so it would have to be like a very specific Belgium, which I just... Don't... Oh, this thing is definitely French. Right here, watch. Boom. Okay, come on. Three more easy ones. This is Slovakia and Czechia. That's not good. That's not good. I will say it looks more like... It looks more like Slovakia and it's winter coverage, and apparently Gen 4 Slovakia is often winter. So... Oh man. Got a Z. Got the A with the dash. 
not really helpful, I would say. I don't think that A is specific, unfortunately. I mean, it gives me more Slovakian vibes, I could say that, but the architecture is remarkably similar between those two countries, so... It really gives me more Slovakian vibes, I must say. Let's go. Oh, wow. It really didn't want us to get there, and it still might not let us. No antenna? Okay, should just be North Macedonia. Flag is all red. What's that? It's just a red flag. It's not Albania though, it can't be with it with no antenna. Okay, we're liking a blue strip there, kind of, or maybe not, but I kind of like that because I think you get that quite a lot. North Macedonia. Um, Harke. Yeah, that's all letters that are in both alphabets, unfortunately. Um, could it be Serbia? Yes. Do I think it is? Really not, really not. But yeah, Poles kind of feel North Macedonian. Landscapes certainly, certainly fits, but could still be, could still be Serbian, I could say that. Why have we got all these toss-ups for it? I'm pretty sure this is North Macedonia. Um, that's not even blurred at all, I'm just trying to remember how the Serbian number plates. Now nah, let's go blue strip, but yeah. I don't know, it's still possible for Serbia, bro. That's kind of unfortunate. Definitely NMK vibes. So I think I should just send it, but just in case I think of anything here. Um, that sign is surely specific. Oh, we got A-type guardrails. I believe we'd normally have B and that bollard fits. So, yeah, feeling good about this, to be honest. Nice. It is to be expected. Okay, 100 is an easy Australia with all yellow rose lines. Let's go. Okay, let's see how we can take it. I want to get, I want to get a respectable, respectable score. Um, so that's 2,300, 23,000 as well. Very good. Okay, next one here. I want to push this to 150, bro. Come on, let's do it. Um, I'll probably sound silly in hindsight where where we just die soon, but whatever. Uh, this is hung, uh, hungry, right? Definitely looks like hungry with these bollards. Probably just doubted myself too much at this stage. Should just send it. Yeah, it's hungry. Nice, other side of Budapest. This is New Zealand, very good. New Zealand bollards. Just North Island. No, it's top tip of South Island, lol. This is uh, Western Cape holes here. Nice. All right, let's see how I can push this, guys. This looks very much like um, Norwegian pavement. <laughs> Norwegian, Dutch pavement. That is definitely well, it's definitely Norway, uh, definitely Netherlands or Belgium. Uh, unfortunately, we're lacking all cards, but I really get a stronger um, Netherlands vibe here. Really do. This pavement, surely, is Netherlands. Um, I'm sure we could find something apart from Bibliothèque, which is definitely Dutch. But I mean, hey, it could just be over the border at the end of the day, so... I'm just gonna have to live with that. I mean, it's very flat, so that's obviously nice. Uh, but yeah, let's go here. And it was nice. And this one is now Thailand with a black base. It's a yellow line. This feels a bit southern, but we're just going to Bangkok. Actually, quite northern. Okay, 105, nice. Blue on the top of the plate should be American, not Canadian. There's the American flag. Is it Minnesota plates? It's actually just Illinois plates, that's right. I think the Minnesota ones are bluish as well, but yeah, okay, blue strip here. Spain, probably. Could easily see Spain here. Um, other options are Portugal. We do not appear to have any Portuguese plates. Uh, language would be really helpful here. Um, yeah, Spanish landscape over Portugal for me. For me. Has to be that way, I think, these houses. This could even be islands as well. I, I'm kind of bad at telling them apart, but... I mean, I would say this is just mainland Spain myself. At the end of the day, we don't have any conclusive evidence apart from that plate, which is actually inconclusive, but... I think we go for it. I don't really see it being Portugal, man. Nice indeed. This is New Zealand. As far as I 
can tell why this this kind of street sign would never be Australia. Not to mention the New Zealand Pulse. Each time we go Christchurch, it is Christchurch. This is now somewhere in Kenya, the new Gen 4. Oh, don't. Ooh. I actually thought at the last second about Rwanda, but no. It was left hand drive. Should have been a bit more careful, but this is Turkey. Very good. So pushing it to 110, previous best of A3, which was also this afternoon. This is, I believe, Canada, but I would like some more conclusive evidence, of course. Um, I can't remember which ones say yield, which countries say yield and which don't, but that, could that be a maple leaf? Probably not. We've got like, um, could that be French before English here? Obviously we're speaking English because of the stop sign, but I do wonder now about like New Brunswick or maybe Ontario near the border or something like that. I do really think that this is Canada, but it's really not a done deal, unfortunately. This yellow thing I'm sure is helpful. The guide wires. So we got the thing facing away from the road. That would lead me to believe it's not New Brunswick, but maybe Ontario. We got blue plates, so I really think it's quite likely, you know. I just think uh, this kind of like, this kind of really wide road. It all feels pretty Canadian to me, I must say. Um, we've got like the American style of street signpost, but that's the fakest matter of all time. It's for sure. Okay, I think I'll go Canada. Can't think of anything better in the US here. I think this big kind of fat plate is pretty Canadian too. That's what I want to say. So let's go here. Nice. Running it up. 111. It's a nice number. This is RG. Yeah, the red and white should just be Argentina. Argentinian plate as well. Okay, Rosario. Nice, works. 112. This is low camera. And these yellow pedestrian crossings are super Swiss as well. Okay, nice. This one is probably just Peru. Got like one of these like uh, tuk tuk things, which is certainly Peruvian looking. Um, it definitely feels like Peru to me. Could certainly say that. Electricity counter feels Peruvian as well, which is why I lost the last recon. Should be somewhere in northern Peru, I want to say. A P A. I just feel like the P stands for Peru. That's my honest uh, analysis here. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Where's the sun, though? The sun could be helpful here. Sun's to the south. Nah, eh, is it? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, it's not Mexico. It's, the car's completely obscured, but we can kind of see that it might be a white car, which would be good for us, I feel. Um, Yeah, it's not Mexico, so it should just be Peru. I mean, I'm assuming it's not Mexico. I can't remember a Mexico round that looks like this. So let's go. Nice, just northern Peru. Okay, here we have a low cam. Right on the border there. Okay, 115, guys. We can push this further. We can push this to 150. No cap. Let's get it, bro. 150 would be safe. Would be crazy. Would be crazy. Okay, this is another per uh, RG. Wooden poles, black car, makes life nice and easy, I'd say. Okay, what do we got here? <sighs> Probably a... Um, Italy, but it could be San Marino. We don't have bollard spam, we only have a single bollard in the whole round, so that would lead me to believe this is probably just Italy. What's that thing there? I mean, it can only be those two countries. It doesn't feel like super wealthy. You often see like some mansions on San Marino, I feel like. We're not really seeing that. Definitely preparing Italy here, but but it could just be San Marino. I mean, ah, these signs, bro, that's a bit weird. Like, I don't remember that for Italy, to be honest. Would it be San Marino? Don't know if I can justify sending it without bollards, bam. I feel like a corner like this in San Marino normally has a ton of bollards. 
But it could just be. It could just be. I'm gonna go for Italy. Screw it. Like this is a bit strange. I'll try and remember that if it's if it's San Marino here, but let's check it. It's not San Marino. Nice. <clears throat> Pretty close. I almost thought we lost it for a second when I watched the round come in. Okay, this is Colombia with the yellow plates. Very clean. Next one here is Shri. Okay. Might push 125 here. That's that's that would be certainly satisfactory for me. That's kind of the number I feel like I'm capable of. Okay, this is either France or Spain. These signs feel Spanish. This pole also, probably. Metal pole here definitely feels Spanish as opposed to French, I would say. So yeah, with these ones, we should be in Spain. I like that. I really, it can only be Corsica and it's not healing enough. <clears throat> 120, let's go. If you ever feel GeoGuess are lagging a bit, you just give it a refresh and then it's, uh, and then it's back to normal. And also you can't like, uh, it's, it's legitimate for like world record attempts because, because you never see the link. But okay, we've got gaps in the roads here. So this should be somewhere in South Australia. It's not being all the way out near Victoria there. This is Japan. Well, that's the type of thing I like to see, bro. Just as many of these easy ones as we can get where I don't have to stress my ass off. Okay, this is Australia. <clears throat> I uh, don't actually <clears throat> really know what state it is here. It has to be like New South Wales or Tasmania, but I'll try Tassie. I love being Tassie. Oh, uh, this is New Zealand. I want to try North South Island here. South South Island. This is UK, I want to say. Yeah, yellow rears. Okay, nice. So there we go, 125 countries in a row. Kind of fire. Kind of fire, I cannot lie. Let's go to 150. 150 is the new goal. Dude, anything above 150 and I feel like I'm shooting above what I should be getting. <laughs> it would be crazy to go from 60 to 150. Um, but yeah, okay. So this one should be, you know, I'm relatively sure that this is Malaysia. The bollard on the side of the road certainly feels more like Malaysia than Indo. On the other hand, I don't exactly know where I'd put it. Probably just near KL, right? Um, that's like a that's a Malaysian car, I think. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a two divided. Um, yeah, we good, we good, we good. Nice. Two divided number plate. Um, this is Spain. Yeah, so that's a very Spanish sign. And that's a very Spanish highway marker, so I think we can just send it here. <clears throat> I, I do not have the best knowledge of that kind of thing, so I am always a little bit worried when I'm saying that. But yeah, okay, here we go in what appears to be Brazil. This looks like a Bahia pavement to me. Bahia. Uh, and these are Brazilian poles as well. Does it say Bahia anyway? The Robust. Yeah, this is definitely somewhere up there. Uh, do we have phone code even? Not really, but I'll say it's a body up pavement. Ends up being all the way up in Rio Grande do Nord, RGDN. Okay, this one should be somewhere in Malaysia. Probably Sabah, but I could see Sarawak as well. But yeah, I would take Sabah here, probably. I just wanna see if we can see any plates to confirm. That looks definitely like a Malaysian plate, so yeah. Nice, on the right road. 130, let's go. Uh, looks like we'll get it. This, ooh, kind of a bait round. I think this is actually um, Denmark. I think this is the temporary plate in Denmark. Then we have a yellow plate here. And then everything else is just obscured, bro. Is that yellow? I don't think so. Man, this is kind of a bait round though. Um, okay, let's see if we can see anything else. Ooh. Okay, over here. Oh man, as if that's covered up. That looks yellow as well. And that looks yellow as well. This has to be then Netherlands. Glad we had this view over here. I probably would have sent Denmark otherwise, but I can only assume now with that, that this is just Netherlands. And so they have similar temporary plates, something like that. Yeah, this this blue street sign, I mean, it could have been either country as well, so... I mean, if this, if I'm wrong here, I, I, I still couldn't guarantee that I'm correct, but why does it look a bit like English or 
Family, I guess it might be the same word as German. Yellow. To be... St I mean, it, it's not UK, but... We didn't see any front plates yet, so I guess that is a little concerning. Um, yeah, no, you wouldn't have a Blue Street sound like that, so it has to be here. I just don't see how it wouldn't be. Nice. 130, that's crazy, bro. This is, this is, this is, um, this is something. Okay, let's continue it. Um, New Zealand. Uh, here we have long outer dashes, I would say, so for Norway. A lot of pines, so thinking southern. Is that a green plate? Probably. Um, just something about it made me want to stop for a sec, but these are definitely too long to be Swedish, so. Try southern. Nice, it was close to Sweden, that's why I kind of had a, wanted to think for a second. Oh, uh, this is just Taiwan. It could even be on one of the islands, I think. Should I try one of the islands? Well, it's pretty mountainous, though. Let's try Pengu. Do we have any cliff faces in Pengu, or is that all the way in uh, Kinmen? Let's try Kinmen, then. Ah, Liangchang, yeah. Always forget about that one. Uh, what have we got here? Some Italian. Via Staffetta. It's definitely Italy. Probably southern here. Would be my vibe of it. Not bad, Naples. 150, come on baby, I think we can go 200. I think we can, honestly. But it just depends how long it is till we get another Baltic. But that red plate is definitely Brazilian. We're 100% Brazil here. I don't know where to put it though. Need to channel my inner duper here and, and get something good. Um, southern or northern? I actually can't quite pick it. I cannot quite pick it here. Let's just go Minas. When in doubt, go Minas. Okay, Alagoas. 135. I guess it was more of a northern vibe, but... Okay, should be somewhere before I look around in Albania? Mmm, no, it doesn't feel Albanian at all. Why do you got blue on both sides? Should just be France then. That should be French architecture then. So the three countries where you see the blue on both sides would be Albania, Italy, can't be Italy because it's long, and France and... Quite simply, this round only fits for France, even though it feels a bit strange. So I might like guess like Alsace-Lorraine kind of area. <clears throat> I also don't remember seeing this car in France, but I guess it could be a traveling car, which would be rather unfortunate, but I think we basically just have to trust the car. So I'll go over here. Nice. <laughs> Dude, I'm on fire. How, how good is that guess? Um, here we have USA, I guess. Okay, what's going on here? It could still be Canada. The South number five, a historic deer field with a yellow plate there? Are we in New York State? It's a white plate there. That looks like a stars and stripes. That is Ukraine. If it was Ontario or something like that, we'd have like Ontario, like marker here. Something tells me this is not Canada, bro. <laughs> I know it's probably easily not Canada because of that shield, but I just don't remember, so it's not worth sending immediately. Okay, let me just make sure they don't have that in Ontario, and then I can send. Yeah, they got the whole different thing going on there. I'm pretty sure they don't have whatever was going on here, so let's go to New York. Nice. It was actually Massachusetts, so it probably was in New York plate. <clears throat> here we have... A... Ecuador or Chile? What is that Ecuador? Orange plate there, this one way street sign, but look at that. These poles are a bit strange. That looks like a more like a Chilean car. We got a white car as well. Yeah, this is Chile. Okay, good to know. Didn't even check the Google car at first. That's a good guess. 150. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We can do it. This is South Africa. For sure, for sure. Um, these underhangs, where are they? 
Let's see what state we get. Saying so Kimberly. Okay, that ends up being an underhang inside Houteng. Good to know. Okay. This is like Finland. Yeah, that's Finnish language. Nice. Always nice to get the guarantee. Even though I would have gone Finland there anyway, it's nice to get the guarantee. That's for sure. Okay, 140. Come on, baby. Uh, this is Switzerland. I like it. I like it. Now let's make sure it's not spillage into another country. I just had this round, like, yesterday. In the tournament, I think. It was, like, here or something. No. Different round, but definitely European. Okay, here we have some Russia. Black car, long antenna. Has to be Russia, basically. Unless you're in Donetsk. And, yeah, we just go here. Ends up being Murmansk area. Okay. Here we have UK. Yellow rears. Quite simply, just has to be the UK. Pretty decent near Newcastle there. Okay, what's this now? This is kind of interesting. Just Japan. <laughs> nice. I was going to say, the uh, signage is interesting, but on Japan, because of the low cam, you just don't, really don't have to learn it that much. You can just guess. Same with Iceland with the bollards. But okay, we're up to 145 here. Let's get that 150, and then we can, well, just push it up as hard as we can. But okay, this is Indonesia. That's an Indonesian pole if I've ever seen one. Um, we have RP, which is the Indonesian currency, Rupiah, and we have a black number plate. So yes, this is indeed Indonesia. I thought these poles might be Sumatra. Let's try it. Ends up being Sulawesi poles. Okay, next one here, which is maximum. And it, this is a specific Ontario sign with a black thing at the bottom. So we just can send Ontario. Right in Ottawa there. Okay, next one here. We finally have another hard one. Potentially, if we don't have... Oh, look at this camera glitch. Interesting one. Um, That language probably feels more um, Estonian to me, but because I'm on such a streak and I might not have this opportunity again, I'm going to search for Kapi, the one ending in Kapi. I mean, you don't just have a... You don't just sit on 147 and not search for a place called Kapi, right? So my first thought is Estonia here. Um, So I say we probably just get in and... Tie down, do a bit of Tom da T Tom Davies action here, a bit of Tim David's action. Uh, as for the pole tops, yeah, so it should either be there. It's either going to be there or in um, Lithuania. So I think it actually could be Lithuania here, but I might just search for copy ending quickly in Estonia first as well. Okay, let's check out. Lithuania to see if they've got the same kind of endings. Definitely a lot of places ending in I. Okay, it seems like, I mean, like, basically all town names in Lithuania end in I or something else, or A or something, or S. So I would say that this is, like, much more likely to be Estonian, really. Um, the poles in the background do, like, these ones do kind of, like, this one does feel a bit more um, Lithuanian, but I would say the building feels quite Estonian, so I definitely don't hate the guess. And if I'm going based on copy, even though I really can't be bothered finding it, it has a, a very high likelihood that it's an Estonian name rather than anything else. Because even just as I it's just as I scroll here, I can see a whole bunch of places ending in A, and it just seems to fit the language better. Um, I've not even considered. Um, Latvia here because of the poles, but maybe I should. I mean, this one here, like a lot of the poles seem concrete, so um, I'll just quickly scan. But overall, I do not believe it would be there. Well, let's check it out. Look at that, we found a PI suffix here. That's the first PI suffix I found, so hmm, Koopy. Copy. It's a bit sus. It's a bit sus. Okay, let's keep looking. Okay, this has really put a spanner in the works, because I believe it actually might be more Latvian now than Lithuanian. Uh, that... Um, more than, than, than Estonian, even. Uh, the fact that we don't have any, like, classic Latvian poles is a concern, of course. Okay, I think I'll send Latvia here. 
I mean, in all honesty, the Poles look more Lithuanian, so I'd still not entirely be surprised if we saw it was in Lithuania. But ultimately, I think this is my decision. I think basically we're going to trust the language here, which is kind of strange. I normally don't do that. Um, but it's so, like, everything's so far away. They kind of look like Latvian hooks. So I say I'll see it. And it was Latvia. Let's go. Huge stuff here. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just happy I got to 100. So everything else is a bonus. But that's that's pretty nice. Okay, next one here. Um, still failable, honestly. Not an easy round. That looks like a yellow play almost, so it could be Peruvian. Uh, yeah, that's a Peruvian pole. Okay, so if it's Peru, then it pretty much should be up here, I believe. Whew. Opposite end. Okay. Well, the desert's on opposite ends. It definitely makes sense, I guess. Uh, yellow bollards here. This will spell 150 country streak. Beautiful. Uh, so previous record of 83... Slash, I mean, we've already doubled my old score of 65, which would be 130 for a double. Um, <laughs> we could double 183 easily here. Um, so that would be <laughs> crazy, crazy. That would be crazy. Okay, this is right hand drive. We got yellow plates. This is pretty clearly somewhere in the Netherlands, I believe. Good. Um, dope and good. This is somewhere in Quebec with the Fleurly. And the north, the um, kind of north-south written in French. Quebec City is 65 away, and we are on, we're probably around here somewhere, I would imagine. Um, no, on that one instead. Okay, this one is right-hand drive, white road lines. This should be somewhere in Chile. Sun is pretty northern, so south, southern hemisphere. Uh, why am I not convinced, though? Normally the Chilean car looks a little bit different. This could actually be Bolivia. Sometimes in the big highways in Bolivia, you do have um, all white road lines as well. So I actually kind of think this is Bolivia, not Chile, to be honest. Um, yeah. Hmm. It's like, oh yeah, it is, it is a yellow inside line there. Yeah, so I think this is, I think this is, could even be Peru. But I think it's, um, yeah, I do think this is somewhere in Bolivia with these trees on the hills. Feels kind of rolling hills, kind of, feels like where I live almost. Kind of, kind of like quite Bolivian as opposed to Chilean. So yeah, I'm just going to send Chile Bolivia here, to be honest. Ends up being Bolivia, nice. Got away from a relatively difficult one there. Not, not too hard, but kind of. This looks like Bolivian pavement to me. Yeah, I would say this is Bolivian pavement. Pole fits, I would say. Um, houses are a bit strange. Maybe a similar region to last round. Um, is it ever... We have no Google car here. That's kind of inconvenient because it could still be Mexico. Definitely do not hate Mexico here. Yeah. Okay. This pole almost feels like a Mexican pole. It feels like it kind of gets thicker to the bottom. Wooden poles as well, we do, and cacti as well. I think this is Mexico, but it really looked kind of like the tessellating. Is there a repeated pattern here? No, I would say there isn't. I would say this is Mexico instead, actually. Um, because we'd see also more red brick buildings, I believe, in Bolivia. So I'm actually kind of confident here. Basketball court, I feel like it'd probably be also marginally more common in Mexico. Black water tanks, I can't remember what the water tank meta is, but that pole feels very Mexican. Yeah, like in Mexico a lot more than Bolivia here, to be honest. So next thing is sun. Sun would appear to be to the south, which is good, but I can easily, just as easily point it north and it looks fairly similar. So, oh, look, this cloud is in the shape of Australia. Look at that. That is actually remarkable. Oh my God. Do you guys see that? Holy crap. That's destiny, bro. Wait, maybe it's telling me to guess Australia. No. Okay, I think we go Mexico here. Gum tree as well? That's very Australian. Maybe it is Australia. No cap. Um, no, I'm going Mexico here. I'm definitely going Mexico here. I just don't exactly know where to put it, but CDMX probably works fine here. Let's go. Nice. It is always CDMX bear. Next one is somewhere in Jordan. Bro, I'm playing out of my mind. This is crazy. I feel like I'm getting a lucky run as well. Of course, you need a lucky run. We have not had too much Baltics, but... I mean, wow, 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 wow. Okay, next one here. Double yellows. Canada or USA? US flag over there. Should probably suggest USA. Speed limit, though. 
yeah, that looks like a Quebec bollard. So I think without those two clues, I would have gone Canada here, but you just get lucky sometimes. And that is what we have here, a speed limit sign as opposed to a maximum sign. So let's send it all the way in main here and it ends up being in main, <laughs> classic. Okay, next one here is oh, Southeast Asia. Left hand drive should just be somewhere in Malaysia, I would say, with the white road lines. Uh, that looks like a nooses pole though. Okay, left hand drive for sure. So I think we can count out any like strange. Yeah, this looks like a nooses ball. Ooh, how have I seen that? How have I seen that in Malaysia before? Is the question. I don't know that I have. This is definitely looking like a nooses pole. But the road lines look super. Do they? No, I feel like we'd have a double line there in Malaysia. I think this is just Indonesian nooses, bro. This would be a weird round to lose it on because I don't feel like it's actually that difficult. But it is a, it is a bit of a 50-50, I guess. So we don't see anything that direction, basically, but it does turn into one line, which feels more Indo. And the older lines as well. So that would also add to the Indonesia theory, I think. If this is... Malaysia, it has to be like somewhere coastal, but very flat. So like somewhere along here, but I definitely think I'm leaning nooses here, to be honest. 156 is respectable. I can lose it here and be happy, but yeah, it looks like a nooses pole through and through. Wow, oh, but it could still be Malaysia. Still do not hate Malaysia here. Maybe this is easy. Maybe people will laugh at me, but... I don't know, that's the thing, like, it's good to know poles, but then sometimes they can lead you astray, they can. I think I just go into the, like, Stilts House, probably more Indonesian. Climate definitely fits a little bit better. It's just the road lines that concern me, so I'm going for it. Nice, beautiful. Ooh, making a lot of good decisions on this, uh, on this, uh, streak so far. I don't want the power to go out now. 156. Let me take a photo of this quickly, just in case. I don't know what could possibly happen here, but... My man Zigzag putting 157 streaks on the board and crap, you know? Um, this is clearly U UK with the yellow path, uh, <laughs> yellow plate and uh, public footpath written there, so that's easy enough. Nice, all the way down near the French Channel, English Channel. Um, this is Brazil, these poles, but look at that. We've got a traveling Argentinian? Or am I wrong about the country? I think that's a traveling Argentinian. I think we might be on the Argentine border here. You do not get this car in Argentina. That is a Brazilian, well, not necessarily, actually. The black backs of the signs are definitely Brazilian. You do see similar things in Argentina sometimes, but that one, that round one definitely seems Brazilian to me. I could say that. Yeah, so I think we guess on the border here, that is a that is a traveler. Kind of baity, bro. Um, everything else fits. Now, could we find some, could we find some Argent, could we find some um, Portuguese here? That would be nice. This is, yeah, this is Brazil do not find such poles as this one in Argentina. Relatively certain of it. Yeah, so we'd, let's just let's just guess on the border then. Paraguay. What just happened? I was so unstoppable today that it sent me Paraguay spill coverage to end my streak. So if you guys don't know, um, wow. Paraguay is not in GeoGuessr. They're literally in the whole 100,000 locations or 60,000 locations in a diverse world. I think there's like two or maybe one in Paraguay. No, there's a few. There's a few because there's also a bit of coverage elsewhere. Kind of. More spill. But this is insane. Oh, I didn't think I could be a victim to that. 
but there you go. Um, I kind of want to play on just to see how far we would have gotten without the spill. Should we play on? Uh, it's a bit of an anticlimax. Um, I'll, I'll tell you guys how many, how much more I get, but as I said, guys, I played on from there and actually saw what streak I would have ended up getting. I failed around like two rounds later, but that was, that was cause I was going super quickly. It was an easy Argentina, which I went Mexico on without even looking around. I literally did no moving, panning or zooming, but then I actually took it a bit more seriously and I played on until I would have lost. I was still playing quickly, but I lost it at 183. So yeah, guys, 183 would have placed me number three in Plunkett. So theoretically, Without that spillover coverage, I would actually have the third best streak of all time, which is actually crazy because because that's like kind of the OG record category. So actually kind of crazy. Um, I still can't believe it really happened. And um, if you do want to go see the footage where that happened, then you can just go straight down to the first link in the description. I'll have it right there. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, crazy that we finally got here. And uh, I hope to be pushing the boundaries of a lot of stuff now. I really feel like I can break records and so hopefully that's what i'm able to do uh let me know what records you'd like to see me break i could do some more like rural world stuff or some more skewed or something like that but guys in the meantime i thank you very much for watching the video and uh, i'll see you guys in another video quite soon so till then goodbye